Hello everyone, welcome back. So in our Appium series, today we will discuss about how we can redirect our Appium inspector to the browser stack real devices okay so in our previous session we we, we had uh, a discussion into how we can upload the different applications right your android or the ios ipa files because that's the prerequisite for the automation testing of the mobile applications so today we are going to discuss how we can redirect our appium inspector to a cloud solution that is nothing but the browser stack so so far if you will see i'll just take an example of this particular capabilities right if you see that this is mostly redirecting to the local right to my simulator of this particular machine okay here you can see the local host and the port is 4723 and then i used to run the appium server into the command prompt and then do a start session so that it launches the mobile application on my simulators depending on what name of the simulator that i am giving here for android and ios but because we are discussing about the uh, cloud solution right so today we are going to see what happens if i don't have a mac machine but i want to inspect elements on a ios devices let's say i don't have any real device with me or connected i can't connect a, an iphone to my windows machine and then inspect the elements right it has to be either you have to go for a cloud solution like browser stack sauce labs or you need to have a mac operating system to connect your real device or you can look into the simulators okay so that's the thing when your organization is taking any kind of cloud solutions like browser stack right why don't you try everything into the browser stack only like leveraging the real devices just to upload your applications and then inspecting the element and also automating the test cases or running the test cases into their real devices so how do we deal it so that's where actually you can see that the appium inspector also do provide couple of options of the cloud solutions like you can see sauce labs headspin browser stack lambda test and some other cloud solution providers as well so depending depending on your usage and cost effectiveness your organization need to buy one of these services actually licenses right so today i'm going to discuss about browser stack but it is pretty much similar with other services as well so you just click on this browser stack okay and then click on done and you can see there is a new tab it will be creating as a browser stack and what you need to do to kind of connect with the browser stack service right you need to have the username and access key and as we understood how to get that you can see as soon as you log into your browser stack depending on your licensing it will give you the username and password so let me quickly copy paste that so i'll come back here i'll put the username and the same thing i'll put the password as well here so do not use this particular access key uh, for this username because i'm going to change as soon as i'm done with this particular session so here you can see i have given the username and password so that will be my gateway to get inside the browser stack devices now the next immediate thing i need to select the capabilities so for this like our classic way uh, you can see automation name and then platform name is the ios and then platform version one of the ios version i need to specify bundle id device name right now how would it is different if you are going with the browser stack actually pretty much everything remains same the only thing is that only bundle id doesn't help actually because for this iphone 15 real device in your browser stack this particular bundle id or the application would not be installed right because we only uploaded the app to the browser stack server so we need to install also so for that along with the bundle id we need to use the app capability actually let me show you that so i just create uh, created this particular capabilities so you can see pretty much everything remains same but there is one more thing that you need to add is the appium hyphen app or colon app and you have to give the 
ID actually the browser stack ID uh, in our previous session we have already discussed how will you get this so after you upload the application right Android or iOS application it will give you a browser stack ID so that you need to mention here like think about in your local how do you do it uh, appm colon app and colon you will give the path of the file from your local system right so it is the same way the system path or the id that browser stack can understand that okay this is the app we need to install in this iphone 15 device and launch this particular bundle id as simple as that and here one more thing that you need to make sure that you don't need to maintain the appium server actually browser stack does that so as soon as you say that it is a appium capabilities you are mentioning here and start session a browser stack will by default will run the appium server for you okay and then i will just go ahead and click on start session okay so i don't have any iphone real devices connected with my system okay it is all everything i'm getting it from my browser stack only so just click on start session and it will connect with you to the browser stack real device and you can see that so this is the real device that is coming from the browser stack and as usual as we have discussed in our previous sessions initial days how do we really uh, what you call identify the elements it is pretty much remain same because we are just redirecting our application or redirecting our uh, appium inspector to connect with the browser stack real device everything else will remain same only and you can see you can click on anything it would remain same the options here you can search with the different options here xpath accessibility id and also here you can search any of the keys to send that and commands gestures recorder everything would remain same there is no difference only so that is how you can identify the elements from the ios devices actually which is connected to the browser stack okay so now let's quickly understand how we can connect with the android devices as well so i'll just quit this session here okay now let's understand about the uh, android devices the same thing i have this let me just open this and uh, i think every time you select something it gets disabled okay now here you can see couple of things automation name ui automator 2 platform name android platform version i have given 12.0 app package and app activity which it will launch that and here you can see device name see normally what we are giving for the device name emulator hyphen 5551 or 4 adb devices we are getting right now for android devices it is a bit different i'll tell you how do you select that and then the application that i have uploaded it the android.apk file i have got the browser stack id now if you want to understand this browser stack capabilities right you don't need to worry about that i'll share this particular link into the description you can watch it so browser stack does provide a w3c protocol uh, kind of the capabilities right which you can use it for an instance you can see i can choose android and here I will choose and you can see these are the different devices that browser stack provides actually or supports actually the real devices you can choose a particular your Google pixel 6 or something and also here is one nice thing whatever the apps that you have uploaded right it shows you that at this moment I have only one APK uploaded that's why it is showing here now because i chose android right it gives you the apk formats only if you choose ios like let me show you that if you choose ios it will show you the ios okay so that's one nice thing here and you can see when you choose android it changes to the all the android supported devices and here you can choose it and you can give other things like what kind of language local and project name i think these things are really not required you can just choose the appium version this is for your automating or running your automation test cases i think for your uh, what you call appium inspector this much is enough actually to get it um, and here you can see i just copy pasted this google pixel 6 and this browser stack id into this particular appium inspector here you can see that 
okay so now let me go ahead and click on start session to redirect to the google pixel 6 device of the browser stack where it will install this particular application and launch this particular package and activity directly so let me click on the start session okay so as you can see this is my this is the browser stacks google pixel 6 device as usual the same way as we discussed about ios the same thing you can see all other details it is coming as usual you can use the xpath you can select what are the options and you can select your the xpath id whatever it is coming you can inspect those elements and you can write the locators for the ipm test case actually there so it's pretty similar there is no difference it's just differs like what are the capabilities you need to set it and the browser stack or the service provider you need to choose it so yeah that was pretty much it actually here and also you don't need to worry about the licensing because normally when you go for a organization license right you will not have any kind of uh, what you call limitations of the timing so that is why it is useful to use their cloud solutions anytime you want so whenever you take app automate or some other licenses 24 by 7 it is available for you to utilize it whether it is the appium inspector or running the test cases also so this is what one of the benefit you get it if you purchase the license there okay so that's pretty much it for today so we will be seeing some more interesting topics in our cloud solution series where we will also see what kind of configurations and changes to our automation framework we need to do to run our test cases into the browser stack platform so stay tuned and do subscribe to this youtube channel thank you for watching